Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangsters Hot Rods, and before we get to our newest addition here that I'm very excited about, we're going to go over some new things here at Hangsters. If you want to buy or purchase a car from us, say it doesn't have some features that you would like it to have, maybe you want air conditioning, maybe you want fuel injection, uh, maybe a different hood, wheel and tire packages, exhaust systems, uh, gauges, and so on and so on, give us a call. We can get you a quote of what it would cost to change that car to make it the way you would like. Um, we also want to remind everyone we do have financing on our vehicles. You go on our website at www.hangsters.com, click on the finance tab next to every vehicle, fill out the application, hit enter submit down at the bottom left. It gets sent to us and we go from there. Um, we also want to let everyone know we do have shipping and powertrain warranty included in our vehicles on the price on the website. Uh, shipping within the 48 states, powertrain warranty is three months or 3,000 miles, engine transmission differential, internally lubricated parts, and of course if it's a four-wheel drive vehicle you're going to have a transfer case, front diff, and so on. Also, um, let everyone know to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you can see some of our videos of our current vehicles, maybe some past inventory, get a sense of what we have here at Hangsters. Um, well, now we're going to move on to our newest addition. This one here I'm really excited about. It is a 1968 Ford Mustang convertible Shelby GT500 KR Tribute. Um, this car has everything it would have had originally. This is really beautiful and I really, really like this car. First thing you notice is the paint. It is red, beautiful red paint on the car. Real nice shine to the paint. Of course, we got the uh, correct equipment on here with the hood, wheels, and so on. Uh, we're going to go over that as we go around the vehicle. Um, Starting with the wheels and tires, we do have the correct Shelby aluminum wheels with the Goodyear uh, raised white letter tires there. Um, of course, that is at all four corners with the Shelby Cobra center caps. Um, our badging here, of course, we've got the snake with the Cobra Jet 428 emblems. That is exactly what's in the car, and we'll go over that when we raise the hood. Um, down at the bottom, we have our GT500 KR decals with our white striping and our chrome rocker molding. And of course, that's on both sides. First gap, driver's side, front fender to door. Very even going down. You can see our body line right there and there lines up nicely. Um, our driver's side of our windshield, no chips and cracks. Um, our bright work, good condition. Couple little divots and scratches here and there, but overall not very bad there at all. Our driver's side glass, no chips and cracks. And of course this is tinted. Our top is a black convertible top. Seam here, very nice and flat. Very nice here on the top there. Coming around the back. Our cross seam here is very nice. Um, our second gap driver's side, door to quarter panel, pretty even going down. You see our body line here and here, here and here, and here. Of course we have the side ducting, also a nice touch on the uh, Shelby's there, it really gives it that menacing look. What we're going to do now is we're going to open the driver's side of the interior. Vinyl bucket seats, full Shelby um, interior in this vehicle. You'll notice it is all correct. It has the um, uh, shift knob, it has the dash, steering wheel, all of it um, goes with the theme of the Tribute, the center console with the engra engraved um, Shelby logo in the leather there, and the vinyl there on the console. All correct, all ties in with the Tribute that they were going for. Um, coming around the back here, um, back here, there's no rips, chips, cracks, or anything in the back window here. Our gapping on our trunk, which this is fiberglass. Of course, you've got the built-in sloped up wing with the quarter extensions that are correct to go with that. Our gapping is all really nice the whole way around. Coming around to the back, our rear bumper chrome in great condition. Couple little small scratches here and there, but all very nice. You got the Shelby lettering going across the trunk lid and the Shelby fuel cap here as well. We got the dual exhaust down here with the dual tips on each one. 
what I'm going to do now is open up the trunk. We'll go over everything in here. Of course, our jam here we'll do first. Very nice condition the whole way around. Nice and smooth paint all the way around there. No rust or holes or anything like that. Underneath the trunk is in black. Down here in the floor, um, we do have the uh, boot cover for the convertible. Um, in between here, of course, in this year, the fuel tank is right here. That is part of your floor in this model year. Our floor out here, body color, you got all your mounts here, your drains. Very nice condition in the trunk floor there. Move it along. Coming over to the passenger side. Again, the paint, really nice, really has a nice shine to it. We do have the stainless wheel well moldings at all four corners as well. The convertible top again, here is our seam, very nice and flat. And our crossbar here also looks very nice. Passenger side windows, no chips and cracks, and also tinted just like the other side. Now our first gap on the passenger side, quarter panel to door. Very even going down. You got your body lines here, here and here, line up very nice. And of course, there's our duct on this side as well. What I'm going to do now is going to open up the passenger side door so we can go over the interior from this point of view. Of course, you can see the seats are in great condition, the center console, the carpeting, the dash. You get a great view of the door panels and so on. Very, very nice shape. You got all the wood grain accents in there, including the shift knob. Moving along. Also, I do want to mention, which uh, we will have pictures on the website, we do have the roll bar in there that goes across. Uh, passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Hood gapping from the cowl to the hood, nice and even going across, and pretty even going down the sides as well. Of course, we've got our vented hood. This is also fiberglass. This is what they uh, had on the Shelby's here, and the dual snorkel in the front, which are twist locks as well and we got our Shelby lettering. Um, our front bumper, the chrome, beautiful chrome just like the rear bumper here. We got the whole Shelby conversion here with the, uh, your um, bezels, your front grill, that's all in great shape. Uh, fog, your center grill lights here are all in great condition. Front end looks to be very nice around your bezels and the headlights, no chips and cracks in those either. Now we're going to open the hood here. First we twist our locks. And then you pop your lash from underneath. Um, underneath the hood is in black. Um, your aprons, firewall, so on, rad support all in black. What we have under the hood here is a 428 Ford V8 engine. Um, of course, we've got the proper air cleaner here. We have a, a Mallory Unilite distributor. We got the Taylor Spyro Pro wires. We do have power steering. We have power brakes. A um, lot of uh, nice touches under here. We do have the super coil in the back for the ignition as well. We got air conditioning. Um, we got the Cobra. Uh, Le Mans valve covers, black with the brushed. Fin for cooling, very, very nice package here. Of course, they went all out uh, with the um, tribute to the Shelby, what they originally would have been. This here is just a beautiful recreation. I really like this car myself. Um, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to put this up in the air and show you the undercarriage. Hey, guys, we got our 68 convertible up in the air. Um, we're going to do our undercarriage review as we do with all of our vehicles. Uh, starting at the front, your control arms, uh, suspension in the front look to be of a stock style. Although we do have Coney shocks in the front and Coney shocks in the rear as well. Um, our belly bar here looks to be in good shape. We have disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back. Um, our oil pan here is an aluminum finned oil pan, Cobra oil pan, which you will see Cobra on the side. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, everything on this car is Cobra themed. This is a clone, so 
Everything is pretty exact. This is the Cobra oil pan as just goes with the theme of the car. Um, the oil pan on our 428, big block, our rear main seal, our C6 automatic transmission pan, and output seal are all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks in any of those. Um, our front frame sections look good. And look good. Um, we have dual exhaust on the vehicle. We got the long tube headers here going into dual exhaust and the dual accelerator mufflers and we're going to see those as we get back a little further. Um, moving along here, our transmission pan, I mean transmission mount, that's in good shape there. Um, here is our, of course you got your under bracing here being a convertible, you're going to have your removable uh, center pan here, you can get your drive shaft, you get all of that to here, that is removable. And then you've got your center section on your convertible here. Our flooring, as you can see, very nice condition. Got a drain there, drain there. Floor is very nice, looks to be of a new floor here. Very nice condition. Uh, you got your e-brake mounts here, here, going back to both wheels. Coming back a little further, of course you can see again, floor, great shape, drain. Drain, just great shape. You got all your embossments there. You got your mounts here. Everything very nice. Um, balanced drive shaft. Uh, here's our dual piping. Of course, this is new piping. You got new, new mufflers, very nice shape. Like dual accelerator mufflers. Tail pipes go up over and out through the valence cutouts in the rear on either side of the fuel tank. And we'll see that in a moment. Um, we got leaf spring suspension on the back. And like I had said, we got Coney shocks back here as well. We do have um, traction bars here, as you can see. Of course, that is both sides. Um, our front spring and traction bar mounts. Very nice. Um, before we move along, our input seal and our gear set seal, nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on any of those either. Our rear frame sections, very nice. Very nice. Um, we got drum brakes on the back, like I had said. Of course, like I had mentioned, we got the aluminum Shelby wheels. Um, we got the uh, Goodyear style tires that were on them originally. It goes with the overall theme of the car. Um, up here are, is our fuel tank. Very nice condition. Can't be that old, still very nice. And on this model, as I had said, this is part of the floor. The flooring up above the differential is really nice condition. Of course, you got a black paint. Whole underside is painted in a black paint. Um, coming back here, like I said, our exhaust comes out into the dual tips throughout the valence cutouts. Um, our rear leaf spring hangers or shackles, whatever you want to call them. Very nice. All in all, very nice under here. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it down. Fired up, secure the engine run. <laughs> 